episode one, Argentina to Alaska with a dog and a tuk-tuk. We're at the very bottom of Argentina and we're just about to officially start. It's gonna be an absolute wild ride and you guys are along for the adventure. This is the three wheel dream. We've got the sign that marks the very bottom. And just behind me across this ocean is Antarctica. Getting here was an insane challenge in itself, but now the true adventure begins as we head to Alaska. So we're starting in downtown Ushuaia and we've got to head out on the road because we've got three days left before Paddy's illegally in Chile, basically. And we'd have to redo all the documents. Relax. Say, vamos a ver, ¿pensas voy a llegar? <laughs> that happens a lot where I stop in the street and people are just really curious and I love like yeah telling them about what we're doing and seeing their reaction. We're just about to head out on the road. We're in this beautiful mountain town. You've got mountains that surround us. The city is just really authentic and really really rustic. I'm loving the vibe. How we doing? Patty we're alright. I got a stick. I like to just give that out. I appreciate you following me like that. Yeah, man. Oh, thank you. Can you check, check a picture together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, getting recognized by people that have followed the journey is just something else, um, which is happening a lot in this town so far, which is kind of crazy. Um, I've seen like a touristic shop, and I got to get something for the tuk tuk to just say like, like a sticker or something to say we made it, we're here, and we're leaving. That's what we're going with. Apparently, this is a pretty popular um, like tourist spot to get souvenirs. So, and it's popular for this. They've got like statues coming out the windows and everything. Saying Ushuaia, and just like a very out of place tuk tuk. Hey, Patti, you good? Good girl. Proud of you. So these two will go up here, go on with like a badge option to see if that'll just plug right in. This will go up there as well. Oh, that'll look really good, but we're gonna chuck root three on the back. So we've already got route 40 from when we're in the north. We'll start just collecting famous routes that mean like a lot to us, eh? We're doing the tourist thing. Ushuaia, that's where we are. Route three, Ruta tres. And this says, fin del mundo. So they refer to this as the end of the world. That's what that translates to. So just out in front of us, we got all the cruise ships heading to Antarctica. You can simply just see the scenery. It's just gorgeous in Ushuaia. And I wasn't prepared for this at all. I really haven't left myself enough days to really explore, unfortunately, which isn't usually my style, but this is what we've got to do to get Patty in and out of Chile again. And this is it. We are here. We're at the exit of Ushuaia. We're heading out of the city now. Argentina to Alaska. It starts now. It starts here. It's just a monumental moment where I don't know if I'm nervous or excited. I just know that there's a lot of adventure to come, a lot of challenges to overcome, a lot of fun to be had, a lot of experiences to be lived. It's going to be wild. I think, I think you have a couple. Do you have a dog? Yeah, I, I adopted her in Bolivia as well. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, like a dog in Bolivia. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like the the wife's like next, dog, right? Yeah. Isn't the process? <laughs> Tori, the tuk tuk, Patty, the Doberman. We're coming for you, Alaska. <laughs> Vamos. I'm missing you. I'm like what you're doing. What you're getting to. Well, you can see that, but it is snowing. So we've stopped off to get a drone flight and it's clear as day, the drone's up there, snowing on the drone, you can see it. It's it's coming down. I, I don't know how I can show you, but just believe me, I think on the drone it shows it better. You can see it's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's 
It's gonna be plenty of that on this trip. So we've kind of just pulled up. Um, it's like a lot sunnier, which is cool. And we've got to this like lookout. Mirador Paso Garibaldi. I think the pronunciation was all right, but it's wild, man. Wow. That is gorgeous, man. Eh? That is gorgeous. People are checking out the tuk tuk. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Hey, congrats, you made it to the end of the world. Yeah, we, we did, yeah. We're starting. Yeah. We're going to Alaska. Alaska? Yeah, that's the plan. I'll follow your trip. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's the excitement. That's we're on the road, Patty. We're on the road heading north. <laughs> I'm just as happy as you are. This region, this place is something else. She's going for it, eh? There's a little beach going on down there. Uh, like river creek flowing out to the ocean. So really taking it in. We've got another like 30 kilometers of mountains. And then I know it goes back to just flat. Paddy needs to like run around and the tuk tuk needs to just chill out. So that's what we're doing. Paddy's looking into some food and I'm just having a little bit of a mate. Which is like an Argentinian custom uh, of like a, a drink closest to green tea but Argentinians feel that it's they don't like when you call it tea <laughs> yeah this is just hectic beach behind us on this now gravel road it's beautiful it's quite cold, it's very windy. It's all a bit hectic. You got Patty just on the trot. Even though there's not so much sun, I'm like, we gotta get the drone out, do a little drone flight. They got like, hey, come, come, Patty, come. Asa, come, stop, sit, sit. Asa, stay. She's getting good. Um, some cars are driving back and forth. Como anda, campeón? Bien. Dios te bendiga. Gracias. Solo. Sí, sí. Pues con la perita, pero solo, sí. Ah, ¿De dónde venía, hermanito? Eh, empezamos en Bolivia, pero soy de Australia. Ah. Ella de Bolivia. Ah. A, a donde allá. Ya. ¿Y vos? Y, y ahí no dormí, ¿no? No. En una carpa. Ah, y ella pero... adentro. Disculpame que sea tan preguntón, pero me llamó la atención. No, no, claro, está bien. So we've been getting some kilometers done, driving along the highway. We just pulled up in a spot that looks like I can cook up a bit of lunch. I bought some, some beef. I needed to find a spot that was kind of enclosed by the wind. And I saw this gauchito gil, which is like a cowboy gil shrine. People leave items like wine, cigarettes, money, beer 
and that allows the cowboy gill, gauchito gill is cowboy gill, to give them safe passage, usually along highways and things. So I'm trying to show you guys what's what's going on. Whoop, there we go. That's one way to get it off. Anyway, so that's an enclosed gauchito gill shrine. Candles, a couple of figurines, another figurine at the back. They paint rocks and things as well, put red posts around. A lot of banners and things, flags that are, that are red in the trees. Here we've got another one. I don't know what the go is, why they, if they're broken on purpose. Another little ceramic figurine in there. Some steps. And this is what caught my eye. There's an enclosed spot that I can cook lunch up at. Out of the wind, a table. So this might be just an area where a few, few lads, few guys come around, have a beer. There's all these beer tables, I guess. Planks of wood between trees and things. We're gonna just get set up, just getting the gas stove system out. And Paddy will enjoy a bit of, a bit of meat. Or we'll, we'll get it together. So I'm just gonna have a beef only lunch. <laughs> Cooking up in the Gauchito Gill, the Cowboy Gill Center. <laughs> there would have been a bit of beef cooked up here, I reckon. Argentinians, there's a huge meat culture. So this will go, go down a storm. Oh, I've got so much, I can't even fit it all. What do you reckon, Patty? Patty's looking at me. She's like, I'm, I'm getting some of that or what? People I'm going to stay with tonight that I stayed with before coming to Ushuaia, uh, they they just gifted me so much stuff. So many people just helped me along the way. They just are like, here, take this. This can help you out in your journey. Go pretty pretty nicely with the salt before I turn it over. I don't know how this is going to go. I open this budin, so it's like a the Argentinian orange cake. There's always different flavors of budding, but this is just orange, apparently. That's how we're looking. That's actually really good. There's little bits of the orange rind and orange fruit bits. We are really living the dream, eh? Oh, no. Patty, that's a you thing, because that's, that's so dirty. I'll let it, I'll let it cool down a sec. Holy f <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'll chop it up for you. It's a lot of meat for one person. Like I, I can go through it, but we've got to share, don't we? Sit, hey. Hey, sapati. Despacito, echa, echa. Stay, come. Good, come, good, come. Esa. Not bad. We're not going fork and knife, we're just going bare hands. I dropped the second piece, so Patty's been hooking into some meat. I'll give her a little of the fat since she's just been. <laughs> she's been very um, filled up already. Good time. What, what else we got? We got some, oh, that's a, that's a, hey, despacito, despacito. Where else would we rather be, Paddy? Hey, hey, come on, relax, relax. This is mine now, we share. I'm gonna try to conjure up something in the tuk-tuk that I can leave for Gauchito Gil, especially with it being the first day of our trip starting. I like to try things and and do things that are within the cultures when it's the place to do it as well. When I first left Bolivia with the new vehicle, they do a, a blessing ceremony on the vehicle. So when you first buy it, usually for, for safe travel, safe passage, yeah, getting amongst the culture. So I don't really have any of the, the typical stuff that you would leave Gaujito Gil. I'm not traveling with cigarettes or, or, or alcohol or anything, or anything like that. So. I've never really seen anyone leave mate before, but we're going to leave some mate. 
so some shadow and then shut that up please gauchito gill <laughs> or please cowboy gill give me and patty and tori the tuk tuk safe passage to alaska but the place good place come here i'll hook you up so we're now currently <laughs> we're now currently about 100 kilometers I don't know how many miles that is, but that's probably for us, it'll take about three hours to get to our friend's place that have taken us in on the way down. They met us at a border crossing, which was really cool. And they've just said, hey, come stay with us. So I've texted them ahead of time and they're nice enough to have us stay with them once again. very outskirts of Rio Grande, like a more, it's a modern built area, but there's a lot of concrete. So I'm like, <laughs> it's like some really nice house and others are just getting their, their brick walls gone. So it's still a, what are you good buddy? It's still a neighborhood that's been developed. Uh, so there's vacant lots of land and then just houses. That are just you see the contrast, like the difference? That's us just pulling up. We're gonna have a comfortable night's sleep, which is what the doctor ordered. Relax, hey, buddy. It's all right, it's all right. Hey, sit, buddy. Sit. Hey, relax. Everything's okay. They made that for me, my heart. So we got the clothes getting washed. They're so nice, and we got the tuk tuk in the house. Party place. Relax, yeah? Relax. Come on, place, relax. Please. Fabrica de qué? Sorry? Microonda, me parece. Microonda. Esa es otra fábrica. Mucha fábrica. Por no pagan impuestos Porque acá. No pagan impuestos. Ah, mira. ¿Y esa es Río Grande también? Este es el Río Grande. Ah. Es bonito. En ese tiempo no había puente. Sí. Esa señora era la responsable de cruzar a la gente de un lado al otro. Oh, entiendo. Y gracias por invitando a Patty a tu, tu coche. Ah, está bien. Ella le gusta. Le gusta, ¿no? Sí. Este ya es el mar, este. Esto ya es la costa. El mar. El mar. Este. El mar Atlántico. Y todo abandonado ahora. Y todo eso. abandonado. El viento, es lindo, mucho viento. Se cayó. ¿Qué hay? Yeah, Rio Grande is really nice. That uh, whole section here, that's that historic section of the town that's not really cared for it's just abandoned apparently yeah it's got it's history like every town does obviously but then when you go out and you're with like a local that knows what they're talking about so he's been working and, and living here all his life so it's really cool that we're able to stay with him like get to know the culture and then uh yeah get they're just taking us around the town we are deep suburbs and this sign that says chakra it means like farm so we, you kind of just pull up to farms that have signs saying like they sell lettuce, they sell eggs. That's what this guy is selling. So we just pulled up, honked the horn, they come out, they say, yeah, you can buy 24 pack of eggs for this amount. And then you just say yes or no. And you usually get a good price because it's like from their house. Yeah. 
No, sí, sí, no, 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 sí, no, 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 so yeah, we had a really nice dinner and we're just doing the logistics stuff currently. Just getting everything prepared and ready to go. She's fully sleeping. Tell me your dog trusts you without telling you your dog trusts you. Hey, good job, all done. Just about to head to sleep. Getting everything ready for tomorrow. I've got everything charging over here. So this is what I can't believe. When I slept in this room before getting to Ushuaia, before starting the journey, I was met with 5 a.m. light is when the sun goes up. So they've got, they didn't have this blind up. They made that while I was away and they just strung it up today and it, like it fits perfectly. And there's a skylight. When we're out like going around the town, they were like, oh, we got to pick up bin bags. And I was like, yeah, cool. We can run to the shops, get bin bags. And put the tape to try to cover the sunlight. When they put it up, it was sun out still and the bin bag is like not dark enough. It didn't it didn't retain any of the the light, but like it, it just means so much to my freaking heart that they went out of the way and were doing these things for me. We had like a really nice dinner. Just when they bring down like the jug of like like soft drink and then we sit around the table. Such a comfortable vibe. And I'm moving place to place every day of this journey like I'm always in a new city or a new town and meeting new people but I never get comfortable really I never stay in a place for too long but things like this really re-energize my like internal battery it's just another world so from Patty and I to Esme and Angel thank you so much you guys are legends we're gonna get a good night's sleep so we can get out on the road now Thanks for checking in on this day. What a day, what a day.